Hello everybody, it's Stings the Flash and I'm back once again with another Play Race Steel Book update. Um, there probably won't be too many more of these this year, but there might be one or two more uh, to come. Uh, we have four more Steel Books to show today, and um, three of these are out today actually, I think. And uh, the other one came out a little while ago, but I got it in, uh, in the sale. So we're going to start off with that one first, and it's uh, the Disney film, or in collaboration with Tim Burton, uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And um, I know a lot of people are a bit disappointed with this one, uh, but it's a lot cheaper, it was anyway to start with, than a lot of the other Disney releases, and it's not part of their uh, of the Zabby um, Pixar collection, or, or Disney collection, because it's neither of those. But um, I quite like it, I mean I bought it in the sale, it was 9 99 it's gone back up now to 15 99 but I was happy to pay it, I didn't use any cords or anything, uh, I thought it was cheap enough, to be honest. Uh, it's got a nice uh, debossed eyes and mouth on Jack and uh, but it's, it's a matte finish but it looks quite nice kind of glossy uh, but matte if you know what I mean uh, the back is obviously a bit just there uh, it could be better but that's your whack here and then the inside artwork is uh, nice and simple uh, it's the artwork that they used for the 3D Blu-ray which I'll, I've got I'm probably going to replace the 2D collector's edition disc with the 3D Blu-ray version, um, simply because it's, it's nice to look at as well, and it's match. Uh, so yeah, that's the, the first one. Uh, I will um, uh, mention as well the region uh, for these steel books uh, because I've, I've got a few questions in the past about region codes. Uh, some people ask about them, um, and apologies if I haven't got back to you on them. But uh, uh, with all of these that I'm going to be showing today, they're all uh, region B locked. Okay, region B locked. So if you're uh, abroad, or if you've got an import uh, PlayStation 3, uh, I'm afraid you're out of luck with these ones. And uh, Disney has, aren't usually region B, they're usually region 3, so... Uh, but I'm just going off what says on the card. I could, it could be wrong, but that's the card's fault, not mine. So next up we have the first two Rambo Steelbooks, uh, and these match the first uh, Rambo uh, Savvy Exclusive Steelbook that came out uh, earlier on this year, which had a red uh, sort of machete on the front. This one has... Uh, a orange machine gun style uh, look to it. It's a matte finish but with a glossy uh, it's glossy to the uh, artwork here and also on the title and uh, it also has a little motif on the bottom which they did for the first film as well. Studio Canal so it is region B uh, as I said before and some really nice back artwork which I forgot to check out when I first got these uh, about an hour ago so that's nice um, pretty cool and then inside You've got the, the, the standard Blu-ray and DVDs that have been around for a while. I uh, really have to get rid of my Blu-ray uh, Digibook set, uh, or Digipack set, because, um, you know, I'm sure Rambo 4, or Rambo, John Rambo, whatever you want to call it, uh, will get a still book release too. So there's the inside of Black Knight artwork. Nice and simple. Um, it's, it's £15. The first uh, Rambo did actually sell out, so this could sell out as well. Um, but I bought it with a voucher of 13.50, but it may drop again. You just don't know with Zabby. But I'm guessing most of their steelbook sales are off now until the new year. Um, and I didn't really want to wait to get it either. So very cool. I really like the Rambo films. And to continue on with Rambo, we also have Rambo three uh, with a nice green grenade, like a lime green uh, color, color here. And yet again, it's a shiny finish on uh, the grenade and also on the name of the film. Um, and again we get the little grenade at the bottom, cool back artwork, and then inside more black and white artwork, and the discs, Blu-ray and DVD, at least have colour on them and match, that's that's something. Again it was the same price, uh, about 13.50 I think it was. Um, these are one of the first, the only view that I didn't actually cancel, was a cancelled uh, Pan's Labyrinth and Tenebrae and Warrior. But you've got to keep a few, I suppose, otherwise I'd have loads to, in a backlog. So now we get to the last one. This one I paid full price for, 15 quid. Um, I should have waited because now I could have got it with, with reward points or any upcoming codes. But it's uh, Jackie Brown with the approved artwork by Quentin Tarantino. And um, I think it's a really lovely steel book. Um, nice uh, old school artwork here. And uh, I don't think pictures of the front, front and back artwork have really been shown that much, obviously the inside artwork, but I think people will be happy with it. Um, here's the back artwork. Again, it's a, a matte finish. Another uh, Lionsgate release. Uh, they are really whacking them out these days. They are the 
regular Blu-ray disc that's been around for a while, a uh, Miramax one. And then inside there's some nice uh, uh, different artwork with some photos from the obviously the shoot uh, when the film was made, and we see Quentin Tarantino with quite a, a very different look to himself there. Um, some of the actors from the film, and uh, yeah, it's just it's something nice and different. So uh, you're really 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 happy with that. And I see the, the front artwork is really awesome, and uh, very, very very impressed with it. And I would I would think this would probably sell out now. Um, just as uh, Pulp Fiction did, it's it's really cool stuff. Uh, a lot like Foxy Brown, in, you know the Foxy Brown cover, uh, which uh, Arrow released, but uh, nice and simple, but classic as well. So uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not bothered about paying the fifteen quid for it because on this occasion, I think it's worth it, even though it'll probably be a tenner <laughs> soon enough. But I'm not so sure actually. It's it, it's uh, it's it's that nice. I think a lot of people will pick it up now. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that one. It, it could go uh, the way of others. Yeah, that's how we've had. Although it's obviously less and less likely these days. That is how you still the sell out. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this uh, video. Uh, I'll be back uh, next week. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I've got next week. It might even be after Christmas, but I know I've got uh, Pain and Gain, the Zavi exclusive, which uh, sold out within a couple of hours of going up. Um, that's out on the 23rd, which is next Monday. And then there's also Elysium, which I bought it from Zavi with some reward points. Uh, to get it down cheap, like twelve pound odd, um, that's out on Boxing Day. So I might get both them before Christmas. I'll probably do one more video uh, on Christmas, maybe Christmas Eve. Uh, if not, it'll be after Christmas. But uh, I'll try and get one more in before Christmas. I'll, I'll do some video anyway, just uh, so I can uh, wish everyone a Merry Christmas then. But until the next video, thanks again for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care for now.